Hey all, it's Vintage Vinny and welcome to another thrift store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you today came from two different thrift stores in Ephrata, PA. I hadn't been in that area for probably over a decade. Now I said that the last time I went up to the Adamstown area, but I didn't get a chance to go everywhere. So I looked around on Google and to see what kind of places were around and I'll just say I thrifted my heart out like I normally do. Anyway, so we are taking a look at the largest item that I picked up, and it's this slag... Why do I want to call it slag glass? It's not slag glass. Stained glass lamp. It was $20, and what possessed me to buy it is still kind of a question to me to this day. I had it in my cart for the longest time, and I thought about it because I've never seen a shade like this before. Now, I have seen Bradley Hubbard-styled lamp, which is like that arts and crafts look of the 20s and 30s. But something about this one just said, pick it up. And I'll tell you, this was probably the only decently priced lamp in the thrift store. And when I say that, I mean, like, they were newer, like, very modern, like, you know, what houses have, or what people buy for their homes nowadays is what I was trying to say. And they were priced exactly what you could buy at one new at Marshall's would be, or at Walmart. So this one was the only one that was worth it to me. It's definitely got kind of like a fall vibe going for it. I am going to attempt to list it on eBay. I think what attracted me to it was it kind of reminds me of an umbrella. If we go inside of it and you look at it from there, it kind of looks like you're under an umbrella. The colors definitely scream fall to me. And yeah, I mean, what do you all think? Was 20 bucks too much? Do you think I wasted my money? Just let me know in the comments below. For a dollar a piece, oop, one just decided to move. I picked up two of these melted plastic popcorn decorations. I found them in the Easter section. And they are a bit newer because they do have a barcode on the bottom, but they paid a buck a piece for them. So I'm very happy with that because I love these things. I'm not sure if I have this duck or not. We shall see, but I had to have them for a dollar each. So those were very, very fun. For a dollar a piece, I got four awesome pieces of, I guess you could say like avocado green, Ellie Smith, moon and star glass pieces. We have a vase right here. This is a lidded dish. We've got a compote and we've got this other vase type object. I don't, I don't think it's a goblet. I don't think any type of drinking glass would have a ruffled scalloped edge on it. So I felt that that was a really good price for Moon and Stars at a dollar a piece. I will do some research on maybe these two pieces here and see if they're worth anything. Maybe I'll do research on all of them and see what comes up. If they are eBay worthy, they'll go to eBay. If not, I will price them accordingly for a live sale. Okay, so this is the last item that I picked up at the Reuse It Thrift. Paid $2 for it. The reason that I bought it is I'm amazed that these petals were not broken and my phone clip just fell, so I apologize for that. But nothing's broken on it. It's in really good condition. Oh, actually, it was. Look, I didn't even see that. That's okay, though. You can't even really see it from the top or from the front. So that's probably like a 7 or $8 piece at a live sale. So I couldn't say no to that until I just saw the damage. <laughs> So the next place that I went to is just a smaller, like, I don't want to say it's mom and pop thrift, but it's, it's really funky. There's a reason they call it Uncle Funkies. And I saw a bunch of really neat stuff that I just said, let me have. And I did spend $98 on what I'm about to show you. And this is the first item. It was, it's a pumpkin. I do believe it's an older one because it's got the um, nails and holding the handle. So I had to have that. I got this girl here. It's a Made in Occupied Japan ballerina. TK Made in Occupied Japan. So this is from 1945 to 1952. 
thought she was interesting. I will do research, and again, if she's not anything to a live sale, she goes. This was just fun and funky. It's one of those face jugs. It's a souvenir piece from, I think, Long Island or something islands in New York. To all my groovy 70s lovers out there, look at this recipe box. Or maybe 60s. It could be 60s, 70s. I'm loving the orange, the mauve, and the purple together. By Syndicate Manufacturing Company in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. It does have a zip code, a five-digit zip code, so that's after 1963. But wouldn't that be awesome in a 60s kitchen? Now, this isn't terribly, terribly old. This is the Vibrant Scent by Vanderbilt, Eau de Toilette. As you can see, it does have a barcode on the bottom. This is about a $20 fragrance, so I was happy with that. I'm really in love with this cat mug. Look at that. And he's given the side eye. Don't know who made him. I'm thinking this is probably like a Lefton, Inesco, maybe Napco piece. Only one tiny little flaw right there, but I don't mind that. What else do we got here? Oh, yes. Got myself a nipper figurine. He's definitely one of the older ones. At least I think he is. I got this giant spaghetti puta schnuda. I will definitely be doing an offer up on this because this thing is just fantastic. He's really prickly too because he's all spaghetti. But he is very, very cool. And he's not broken or repaired anywhere. So that was a really good pickup. Now I'm not a religious person by any means, but I saw this flicker confirmation bracelet. And since I've never seen that before, I went ahead and put it with my stash of stuff. So that was definitely cool. I got another set of chain poodles. We got the mom and the babies. I would say these are spaghetti as well. They are missing the little loop right here, so that's kind of a bummer, but that's all right. The mom is marked Japan. So that's really, really cool. Got this piece here, and I believe this is just a dime store item. It's on a necklace. That's definitely going in my junk jar, which I meaning to show you all. Been meaning to show you all. So that's really cool. And the last item I'd like to share with you all is something that I thought was really, really interesting. So I found these game pieces from 1938, and no, I did not pay $65. It's funny, I was actually wanting to look at them, and I saw that price, and I asked the guy who owns the shop if that's what he was asking. He was like, absolutely not. So he just added that in. I think he, I can't remember exactly what some of the prices were for some of these items. He just wrote them down and then quoted me a price for everything. So, so these are just game pieces from the 1938 game Charlie McCarthy's Radio Party. It says 1938 Standard Brands Incorporated, Litho in USA. Let me go ahead and take these out of here so you guys can see them real quick. So the movie stars in this game, of course, we've got Charlie McCarthy himself. And these are all dated 1938, by the way. So we've got Charlie McCarthy. We have Don Amici. There is, and this is really, really, this guy's really, really fuzzy. Uh, we've got Nelson Eddy, and we've got Dorothy L'Amour, and of course, we've got Edgar Bergen, who was the ventriloquist who had Charlie McCarthy. So I did look these up, and they don't really have a high value, but I just thought they were really cool. Oh, we've got Robert Armbruster as well. But they, like I said, these are just really different. I've never seen them before. And I just thought that they were really, really cool. So that is everything I would like to share with you all today. Let me know in the comments section below what were your favorite items I shared in this haul. 
there is one more thing I would like you all to see. So Margaret Gwen, aka Vintage Peep Show, sent me some friend mail at the request of someone else. I would like to know who it was, so thank you very much, whoever you are. Please let yourself be known. And it was wrapped in that um, really thick brown paper, and then it was wrapped in this really awesome red wrapping paper, and in it came a note that read, Dearest Vinny, you adorable young morsel, you... By special request, I was commissioned to concoct this very special mystery box just for you. It is the requester's desire that you open it live. No cheating. I hope this brings you so much fun and ever so much pleasure. Enjoy, Margo. So I will be opening this up at my scheduled live sale time at 6 o'clock Eastern here on my channel. I will not be having a YouTube live sale but I will be having one the next weekend. So make sure you all stay tuned for that. And now I am officially done. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram. The link to it is down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.